What's going on, everyone? Welcome to Mach 1 Gaming. As promised, I wanted to celebrate 500 subscribers by doing a personal video about myself. So let's get started. So first of all, who am I? Well, I'm Mike. Feel free to call me Mach. Close enough. I'll almost answer to anything as long as, as long as it's not derogatory. So with that being said, no name calling, please. <laughs> Although this is YouTube and there are plenty of trolls out there. It is what it is. I don't care as long as you're watching my video. So I am a married man. <laughs> and I have three kids. I'm also a teacher. And I care about my students almost as much as I care about my kids. Actually, some of my students was just in my latest live stream. And even while I am streaming, my goal is to make sure I protect their identities and who they are. As we know, online space can be very treacherous. Speaking of my students, I always have this running gag every year about how old I am. So, I am 12 years old. Nah, that's part of the gag. <laughs> I'm actually 36. So, for those of you watching, let's keep them, let's keep it on a hush hush, all right? That way, like your students will know, they have to come find this video, they have to watch it, and there you go. So now you know. So let's keep it, let's keep it on the down low, all right? Shh. Secrets. So what does Mach 1 mean? Well, this stems all the way back to high school. My initials are MW, Mike, whatever. And in high school, they would call me, but the football team would call me Mike W, Mike W, Mike W. So the thing is, as far as my channel, I wanted something that sounded like that. You know, I, like, it wasn't a tease or anything. They weren't teasing me. That was my name. Um, so I wanted something that sounded like that. So if you ever ended up on my Twitch channel, on my Twitch channel, there's an about me section where I go over it. Honestly, as far as this video, I'm going to cheat and I'm going to read off my Twitch channel. <laughs> so, what does Mach 1 mean? Mach 1 is a play on my initials, MW, and I, wanted to put, and I wanted to put together words so that my name would mean something. Mach, like Mach Speed, which is something fast. 1, W-O-N. Success. Victory. Mach 1 means speedy victory. I like to win. Okay. So that's pretty much what it means, a speedy victory. Now, there was a few names that I thought about that just didn't make the cut with my initials, like maybe Muddy Wipes, Mystic Wombat, a Majestic Whale, or Mustard Willy. You know, some, some things that just didn't make it. We'll just act like we don't know about those. So why a gaming channel? What does gaming mean to me? So to get a more serious tone right now, gaming means everything to me. You know, I've been gaming since for as long as I can remember, you know, and I think my memories go all the way back to four, maybe five years old. Um, and I would say given the type of person i am you know me liking to be alone and by myself all the time i would say that gaming pretty much saved my life two things that saved my life gaming and eminem slim shade we don't have to get into the eminem part my favorite rapper but you know taking it back to gaming honestly gaming has yeah saved my life you know especially with someone that looks like me um, I, it is real easy to get caught up in wrong place, wrong time. Because I was at home playing video games and not out in the streets, I'm sure I avoided a lot of trouble just being in the wrong place at the wrong time. You know, crazy things happen in the public all the time. So the fact that I'm still here, the fact that I've even made it to 36, there's a lot of people that look like me that don't make it to 36. Honestly, there's a lot of people that just don't make it to 36. So gaming is one of those things. I've learned a lot from gaming and anime. You know, honestly, they kind of coincide with each other. Uh, right here, this is an anime shirt. You probably recognize this character. Um, 
my, you know, shout out to my uncle, you know, the, the generation before me, Mike. <laughs> um, and actually, quick side note, you know, it was really nice to see like three generations of Michael in one place. I went to visit my family a couple months ago and my son's name is Michael, I'm Michael and my uncle's name is michael and it's really it was really cool to see three generations of michael in one place i've seen it with other names you know, i have an older brother and you know he named his son after him and my father's name is after him you know it, it was pretty cool to actually experience that you know it'd be amazing to see four generations at some point but that's you know it's up to my son once he gets of age all right quick tangent happens with me a lot okay but back to gaming yes gaming saved my life you know, just the fact that it kept me occupied and, you know, it gets very lonely, especially during the time when I was gaming back then, you couldn't really talk about gaming, you couldn't really talk about anime, you would get teased, you're a nerd, you're this, you're that, but I kept it to myself. Um, I still enjoy playing sports, I can never watch it though, I never watch sports, it never keeps my attention. Like, even sports video games, I can't play it, but I love sports movies. So like, I love watching sports movies, but I don't like watching sports. And I love playing sports physically, but I don't like playing sports video games. Yes, weird, whatever. All right. But, you know, in my loneliness, gaming just kept me occupied. It kept me focused and I was able to learn a lot of new words. You know, you know, as I got into an as I got to be an adult, you know, it would come up. Hey, do you read? Do you read? And I would always say no. It wasn't until I met my wife where she's like, well, actually, you read a lot. Given the type of games that I play, I love RPG games, heavy dialogue, especially in that time, we had to read everything. I do a whole lot of reading. <laughs> um, and even anime, you know, you know, the anime community, they would tell you that watching subbed anime, not English dub, but English sub, we have to read it. Yes, it's hard to keep up with it and read at the same time, but you have to be a good reader to pick it out even the mangas i love reading the mangas as well certain ones you know i haven't delved that deep into it anyways once again quick side note but honestly gaming and anime they kind of like mixed together and honestly my best enjoyment in my life like getting up to this point now i want to take it to a serious note right now and one thing that's very important to me is mental health. And, you know, there's a lot of people who don't make it to this point because of their mental health. Hopefully, one thing I hope to that you guys would get from this channel is that I'm just like you. I'm an everyday person. I grew up poor. You know, I didn't have a lot growing up. And at the end of the day, I worked really hard to get to where I am now. Okay, even then it's still a little stressful every now and then, you know, adulting is not fun. So for any kids that watch this, appreciate your childhood for as much as possible, because when it's gone, it's gone. Okay. Um, you know, for anyone watching, I see a therapist every month. Yeah, and, it, and it's helped me a lot in my journey, especially when dating people, you know, you look for the wrong things in the wrong place, okay? Hopefully, that's one thing I could teach my children, you know, a lot of self-love. And the thing is, it wasn't until therapy that I realized that I didn't have a lot of self-love. You know, I thought I did. You know, I would go out, I would buy me stuff. I would... You know, I would just do what I feel like doing at that moment. But at the same time, I wasn't really, really being completely true to myself. After seeing the therapist, it helped me realize, hey, like, I'm not really playing a role. You know, I'm, I always considered myself to be a good guy, a gentleman, you know, I would hold the doors, you know, and my students can vouch for you. Yes, sir. No, ma'am. You know, they're barely they're not even half my age and i'm speaking to them in that in that manner um i choose not to use foul language you know i may come out i'm an adult <laughs> it's going to come out but i choose not to use foul language um that's just the way i choose to carry my life and one of the first things i had to realize when i was in therapy um well is mike a 
good guy or is Mike just trying to be a good guy? And honestly, kind of figuring that out definitely made a difference in my life. I'm not sitting here trying to act like a good guy. I genuinely am a good guy. And, you know, that's something my wife loves. She appreciates it. And I appreciate her, you know, for letting me be myself. You know, you know, we'll go to parties. I'll find a corner. You know, her family's, she has a big family just like I do. And she's accepting to the point, to the fact that, hey, I'm going to sit off on my own and do my own thing. You know, it, one thing I've learned in my life, even when I have a, a, even when there is a packed room, I can still make it seem like I'm the only one there. And that's how I want it to be. You know, I don't like a lot of noise. Yes, I have three kids, so it gets very noisy. It gets very annoying very quickly. But that's the life I chose. Okay. So, um, so yeah, mental health is very important. If you get nothing out of this channel, just know that I'm just like you. Okay, and I think that's a lot of the, a lot of the problem when I was growing up. I think that's a lot of problem in a lot of the problem in today's society is that people think that they are the only ones feeling this way. No, you are not alone. Talk to someone. You never know what someone is going through. Honestly, I'd probably have better friends or more la longer lasting friends if I had just talked to certain people like talk to some of my peers because they were probably going through the same thing that I was, at least mentally, especially when you're an adolescent. Goals. Now, what is the goal of Mach 1 Gaming? Mach 1 Gaming, at some point, and I'm gonna put it out there, I do want to monetize my channel. I'm not quite there yet. You know, I still have a long way to go, but I am working hard on it. But honestly, that's just step one in my process. Eventually, and I've mentioned this in some of my streams, you know, I've always appreciated gaming. I've always appreciated anime and I've always appreciated action movies. I love action movies. So at some point in my life, I do want to choreograph. I figure the easy way, the easiest way to choreograph is to create yourself, create your own story. That way you can choreograph the scenes yourself. And when I say choreograph, like choreography, I'm not thinking dancing. I'm thinking fight scenes. Fight scenes is practically a dance. <laughs> um, and that's something I want to do in my life. I went to school for graphic design. Unfortunately, I'm not there at the moment, but one day maybe I will be. Okay, we'll see, but you have to work towards your goals. Even if it's something small every day, for those of us with mental health issues, every day try to do at least one thing that gets you closer to what you actually want to do, okay? You'll feel that much better if you just did one thing, okay? One thing at a time. For me, doing this, that's the one thing that I'm working towards my goal. It is very stressful, very hard, and especially on YouTube, it is demotivating to put out videos that nobody watches. <laughs> sucks <laughs> but you have to keep going you can't give up and eventually you will be rewarded so for me that's where I am right now you know it sucks when I work on a video for hours and honestly my videos aren't as good as some of the others you'll see other youtubers who have millions of subscribers they work really hard in their videos at least they like where I was, you know, yes, they may pay editors these days. Some of them, I, I don't know, to be honest, but you know, they started off where I am. Okay. That's the goal that I want to get to. Um, no. So yeah, that's my goal. Eventually I would like to put out a series. Mach 1 Gaming is just a start. Um, I do have another channel called Mach 1 Entertainment. I haven't done anything with that channel because I want to separate it. That's where I would like to talk about anime and stuff like that. I figure I'll try to build an audience here on Mach 1 Gaming. And if you join my live streams, you'll get the anime talk and we'll talk about stuff like that or even mental health. But eventually I would like to make a separate channel where I do Mach 1 Entertainment. And on that Mockland Entertainment channel is where I hope to finally put out like comics. If I can get it animated, honestly, that's the number one thing that I want to do in my life is animate a series. And if 
as I've mentioned in one of my live streams or maybe even a few of my live streams, if I never make money off of it, that's okay. That's what I want to do. I will be completely fulfilled. Now, would it be nice to make money off it? Yeah, of course. But for, for me, the motivation is just getting it out there and actually completing it. Now, what to expect from my channel? Well, it's Mach 1 Gaming. Expect gaming, okay? You know, I tried to make my channel inclusive. You know, it was just a couple nights ago, like as of the recording of this video where I was streaming with some of my students. You know, I try not to intertwine my students with, you know, my gaming, but, you know, I, I also make sure to like protect them. Um, you know, if, if they're having a good time, it's keeping them off the streets, doing the same thing that I did, you know, more power to it. You know, every Monday I host flag football. Like I said, I love playing sports. I host flag football. Um, you know, I moved to this state. I'm not going to say which state, but I moved to this state, you know, almost about 11 years ago. Didn't know anyone. Eventually, I joined a flag football group. It was actually like a sporting group where they played different groups, but I joined a flag football group. And, you know, I met a lot of people, some of which I still talk to to this day. And now I've, at some point I became the host of it. I continue to do it and I've been doing it for probably the last eight years. I continue to do it because I would like to put the opportunity for other people for people like me who move to the state to meet other people okay you know like the group isn't as tight as it used to be but you know i still put out the opportunity you know i still do things to get people connected people we come out we have a great time and it's not over competitive it's actually you know honestly i've brought my family out there a couple times it's not over competitive it's a good time and that's what i want this channel to be a good time Yes, I'm good at some games, and yes, I'm not so good at some games. At the same, t at the end of the day, what matters is that I'm having fun, and that's what I want for you guys as well. If you want to join me, feel free to join me. Okay, I will not exclude anyone as long as we're being nice to one another. We're not putting anyone down. We're just having a good time. If you're not having fun on my channel, okay, I mean I understand. You know, my channel may not be for everyone, but if you enjoy gaming, I definitely recommend my channel. So before I get off, there is one thing that I want from you guys. To so those of you that watch this video, I highly appreciate it. There's some people who watch all of my videos. Thank you, like highly. Um, I do post. I do post shorts. I try my best to post shorts every day. However, shorts don't get me to the goal of monetiza monetization on YouTube. I have to actually post actual videos, just like this one, and people. I and people have to watch it. My only ask for you guys is that you actually watch my videos. There are some people that go to my videos. They'll like the video and get right off. They don't even watch like five seconds of it. If that's what you want to do, you know, honestly, just you clicking on my video helps. It helps a lot. But at the end of the day, I do need people who like to watch my video. That is something I'm asking for. If you don't have time for it, you know, I understand. So with that being said, I'm not asking for money. You know, I make my own money. And honestly, I would like to monetize this channel that way, you know, just from you watching the video, you don't have to spend anything. You could just watch the video <laughs> and the money will come on its own. So I'm not asking for money. I'm just asking for your time and your time. Time is money. <laughs> so, I, I mean, one could say I'm asking for the same thing, but I'm just asking for your time. Um, if you're able to take the time to watch my video all the way through, thank you. And given that you watching the video, critique it, you know, yes, this online world is crazy. Oh, you're trash. You're this. You should do that. Oh, this part was really bad. I can, I can handle some criticism, you know, you know, you can leave the, the name calling out, but if it happens, it happens, whatever, but I can handle some criticism. 
you know, whatever it takes to make this channel better, to reach out to more people than just you, I'm okay with that. And speaking of which, if you know anyone that would enjoy my channel, please send them my way. You know, I try my best to put out videos very often, keep you guys entertained, keep it going. It's very tough to put out videos that nobody watches. However, I still have to keep on doing it. That's something that should not stop me if I want to achieve success. And once again, I would say that in your personal life, if you want to achieve success, if you want to achieve success, keep going. Okay. Don't give up. You will get there eventually. Okay. And with that being said, thank you for watching my video. If you like this video, please like it. If there's anything that you would like to see, any type of games, you know, I'm open to games. I don't play sports games, okay? Or like super kiddie games. Lately, I've been playing Roblox and my students really enjoy it. So that's something I'll live stream. And very soon you'll start seeing clips of Roblox on my channel. But outside of that, you know, I am just, you know, I'm here. Um, I do have a Discord. If you go to my channel, my Discord is up there. If you want to reach out, you know, maybe, you know, talk. You know, I don't have a lot of time. I mean, I'm a very busy person, but I will get back to you when I can. And thanks for watching. You know, please, if you like this video, please like the video. Please subscribe. It really helps out the channel a lot. You know, honestly, you can watch this video right here. That would be very helpful as well. With that being said, deuces, everybody.